welcome to a new year. It's crazy how fast 2014 has gone. I started my channel in the first week of January 2014, so it's pretty much been a whole year since I started my channel. Wow, that is crazy. Um, yeah, anyway, so I thought what better way to kick off the new year with a video that has been requested quite a few times. Um, it's not my room tour, that is another one that's been really highly requested. I have not finished decorating my bedroom yet, so I will do that when I have finished. Um, but it is a makeup collection. I have been asked to do a makeup collection so many times before, and it is a video that I love to watch. It's probably my, apart from apartment and room tours, they're kind of my favourite videos and then makeup collections but um, yeah. I'm going to start with how every makeup collection starts not bragging about how much makeup I have to some it may be quite a lot but to some it may not be a lot um, I pay for all of my makeup with my own money so that's birthday money, Christmas money money from working like babysitting or housework or whatever I pay for all of my makeup unless it is a gift so yes I have a feeling that most people expect it to be a lot bigger than it actually is and that is just because I tend to throw out makeup when I don't use it um, or if it starts to go bad or something I just get rid of it because I don't like clutter so my makeup collection is minimal to some but it might be big to others and yeah, I think we should just get straight into it. Okay, so starting off here, this is where I do my makeup. This is also my desk, that's why I have a computer or a laptop on there. Um, I have this ginormous mirror on the wall, which is from Ikea. And then on this side of my desk, I just have a glass of water, some hairbands in that pot here and then a couple of candles that's what I keep on that side of my desk please excuse how dirty my brushes are um, I'm actually cleaning them today because I'm going away tomorrow so I need clean brushes to take with me um, most of the brushes that I use are Real Techniques um, these three standing up here are all Real Techniques I have the stippling brush the expert face brush and then this one is the blush brush and then I have a vase which is from Ikea and I filled it up with some beads which are also from Ikea and then I have stuck my brushes inside there and then um, the brushes that I have this is from elf this one is also from elf this is actually a paintbrush this one is real techniques this is elf this is real techniques this, I'm not sure um, where that's from, everyone always asks me, but I have no idea. This is just a small spongy applicator thing. This one is from e.l.f. This, I'm not sure. This one, I'm not sure. This is Maybelline, Real Techniques, and Urban Decay. Um, and they are all of the brushes I have and use. And then down in this corner, I have a very dirty makeup sponge. I'm sorry about that. Um, then I have a Model Zone Kabuki brush, some Soap and Glory Handmade, and then some eye drops. In the back there I have a lamp, which matches the colour of my wall, um, which is from Wilkinson's. Then on this very end I have a... Whoa! Then on this side I have a cute trinket box with a tile in it, and it's got like a bird on it, and some cute thing. Then I have a cute little cat ring thing and I've just got some rings on there. Um, these rings are all from ASOS and then I have a mood ring and a Scrabble ring as well and I just keep that in there so that the box does not tip over. Um, and then I have this mirrored chest which I got for Christmas one year um, which I just keep bracelets and like wristband things in the top one all of my earrings in that one and then in the bottom one I just have a few necklaces and yes and this is where I store all of my makeup 
All of my makeup are in these two chests which are from Ikea and they actually came just wooden but we painted the outside of them white and then the drawers the same colour as my bedroom walls. Um, on top of this one I just keep some like pens and school bits and then a box of sweets. And then I have this um, picture frame which I've had since I was like born and then my nan knitted me a little pen, it's a penguin that looks identical to Perry the Platypus. And then on top of this one I just have a clock which is from Tesco, um, a little snowman decoration, there are two train tickets back here, I don't know if you can see them. This picture of myself, my sister and Nina. Um, and then I have two Hollister body sprays, one in Crescent Bay and one in Crystal Cove. Then I have a French Connection body spray up here as well. Um, Lady Gaga Fame perfume which is pretty much empty. Um, Armani diamonds. Orla Keeley, I'm not sure what this one's called, and then a Britney Spears Circus one, and then my favourite one, which is a trip alone, and it is English Pear and Freesia. We're going to start with this side, and all of my makeup is organised in order of how I do it. So in this first drawer here, I have foundations. So currently I have four in here. I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up. I have Bourgeois Healthy Mix Serum, I have Rimmel's Match Perfection and Revlon's Colour Stay which is my newest edition and I also have a sample size of an Elizabeth Arden primer type thing um, which I actually really like. Moving on to the second drawer, this is concealer and powders. So in this drawer I have Benefits some kind of gorgeous which I have had for so long and I should probably throw that out I just don't want to get rid of it yet because There's still a bit in it. Then I have Bourgeois Healthy Mix Concealer. I have Two Maybelline Fit Me's one in shade 10 and one in shade 15 and then I have a collection lasting perfection in shade 1 fair then I have a Rimmel Stay Matte in trans transparent. Yep, in transparent. And then I have another one which is slightly more crushed and used, which is also in transparent. And that is all that's in that drawer apart from some sponge applicators as well. Then underneath my foundation drawer, I have this drawer, which is quite sad because it only has two things in it. Um, but they, this is my drawer of bronzers. I have this Calvin Klein one, which is in Sunbathe, I think. And then the one that I use every day is Bourgeois Chocolate Bronzer in shade 52. Um, it still doesn't look like I've made that much of a dent in it, but I use this every single day and I love it. So I see no point in buying any other bronzers if I use one and love one. Then next to my bronzer drawer I have my blush drawer and this is slightly more full which is weird because I don't wear blusher as much as I do bronzer. Um, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in Coral Wreath which just looks like this. I have a Calvin Klein blusher which is slightly cracked actually in Fiery. I then have a sleek blush in rose gold, which is really pretty colour. This is supposed to be a dupe for NARS Orgasm, um, but I don't have that so I can't compare. I have a Kiko lip and cheek tint in Intuition Peach. It just looks like that, it's a nice natural pinky colour. Then I have a MAC Mineralize blush in Gleeful, which I'm not sure if they still sell, but this is one of my favourite blushes ever. And then I have two MUA blushes as well. These are in the old packaging because I have had these for a while. Um, this one is in shade 1, which is quite a bright pink. And then this one is in shade 4, 
which is more of a rosy, kind of dusky pink. And then moving down again, um, this drawer is also very sad as it only has one thing, which is my MAC Mineralize, Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. Um, this I use as my highlight powder and again, I love this as a highlight and I'm just happy with this one so I feel no need to buy any more because I love this one. And then moving into the final drawer of this chest, this starts to go into eyes. Now this hasn't really got much order to it. I have a Calvin Klein um, eye primer, Snake Skin Silver, which just looks like that. And that's a really pretty kind of champagne colour. Then I have a mini sample of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Then I have a colour tattoo in Permanent Taupe which is a very dark, taupey colour. Then I have another colour tattoo in On and On Bronze, which is a nice bronzy colour. Then I have this shadow palette, which I got for Christmas one year. Um, and inside it are some brighter colours. And I like to use these purple ones most, and then this glittery one on the other side as well. But I don't use those very often. Then I have a Calvin Klein single eyeshadow in Fresh Air, which is a really nice kind of ooh, velvety eyeshadow, and it's super super pigmented as well, which I love. It works really nicely as a base. Then I have my Revlon trio of eyeshadows. This pink one here is called Petal, this brown one is called Coco, and then this one is Khaki. And then I also have two MUA single eyeshadows, which I never ever use anymore. Um, this one is shade 1 in the pearl kind of range, and then this one is shade 2 in the pearl range. And that is all in that drawer. And now moving on to the slightly wider chest, I have this really long wide drawer at the top here, which has all of my eyeshadows in and all of my kind of bigger palettes. So I'm gonna start at the back here. I have a Makeup Revolution palette, which I, um, was in my last video because I got it for Christmas from Nina, and it is the dupe for the Naked 3, and the quality of these eyeshadows is amazing, but I love, love, love this palette already. Um, then up here I have three MUA trios. I have this one in Smoke screen, which has a white, a grey, like silver colour, and then a slightly blacky, more silver one. Then I have this one in pink sorbet, which has a pale pink, a brighter pink, and then a more kind of purpley pink. And then I have another one in Innocence, which has a like neutral champagne colour a medium brown and then a dark shimmery brown which is a super nice colour because it has a bluey green pigment. Then I have this Rimmel palette which has five eyeshadows in. I really like this sparkly red one. Um, that's probably my favourite one in there. Um, but I haven't really used this very much either so I should try that out a bit more. Then I have an Elizabeth Arden cord with a kind of white, um, a light silver, a darker silver, and then an even darker silver. And then I have Benefits Smoke and Eyes Sexy Eye and Brow Makeover Kit, which I have had for a very long time and have not used too much of. Then here I have my Sleek palette, which is in Au Naturel. It's actually broken in two pieces, which is slightly annoying, but also slightly helpful. Um, because I can use this mirror separate from the palette. I love this one for my eyebrows and then this one for my brow bone, um, but the others don't get as much use as these two. Then I have MUA's dupe for the Naked 2, which is Undress Me 2, and I don't use this all that often, if I'm being honest. Not much else to say. Then down the side I have my Urban Decay Naked palette, which I got ages ago now had it for such a long time um, 
and I use Virgin a lot. I'm wearing that today with Buck and I really like Half Baked as well. That's a really nice colour. I have my MAC palette which I have had since kind of the start of summer. I will do a video on my MAC palette when I have filled it up but until then I shall keep it a secret just hidden in this drawer. Now moving on to these three, I'm going to start with this one. This one has liners and brow pencils. Okay, so starting on this side I have Rimmel Glamise um, liquid liner, Rimmel's nude coal pencil, a Ico skinny liquid eyeliner in black, an MUA extreme felt eyeliner also in black, then I have MUA's brow pencil in blonde, Rimmel's soft coal in sable brown, MUA in snow white, and then Rimmel's brow this way, which I think is in blonde as well. And then at the back I have my Maybelline black gel eyeliner. Moving across one drawer, I have my mascaras. So in here I have Rimmel's Lash Accelerator, Endless, whoops, which I am currently using. I have Bourjois Volume One Second Mascara, Elizabeth Arden Sample of Lash Enhancing Mascara. Then I have a small Benefit There Real, Miss Sporty, Fabulous Lash, Lash Building Mascara, which I have not opened yet, and then Rimmel's Volume Flash Waterproof Mascara, and some eyelash curlers in the back. Then moving along to the final one, this one is probably my most full drawer. This is all of my lip balms, um, so I have Jack Will's Mint one, Nivea Vanilla and Macadamia, Jack Will's Berry, Jack Will's Rose, um, Vaseline's Paint the Town, Body Shop, Passion Berry, Original Baby Lips, the pink one, I can't remember what they're called, a Coca-Cola Lip Smacker, Nivea Raspberry Lip Butter, this one which is from Marks and Spencers I think, and it tastes like Cherry Coke which is so nice. Um, I have some Carmex, then some Original Vaseline, a Calvin Klein Lip Tint, three Marks and Spencer Lip Butters, this one is Raspberry, this one is Coconut, and this one is Cherry. I have a Aloe Vera Jack Wills Lip Balm, a, another Original Vaseline, a Rosy Lips Vaseline, a Aloe Vera Vaseline, and then finally a Cocoa Butter Vaseline. So I have a lot of lip balm, and that will probably last me a lifetime. And then finally into my favourite drawer of all of them, my lip products. <laughs> I won't go through all of the colours because we would be here for a long time, but if you would like to see a lipstick collection video, then please give this video a thumbs up to let me know, or let me know in the comments. So here I have a selection of Rimmel lipsticks. I have a Kate Moss matte one in 107. And then I have a, another Kate Moss one, but this isn't a matte one, in 03. And then I have some of their kind of like original lipsticks. Um, this one is 006 Pink Blush, which is a very nice neutral pinky colour. I have one, two, three, four, five of those, and I actually have another one which I have lost. Then here I have my MAC lipsticks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six MAC lipsticks. Um, I actually have seven, but I lost Vegas Vault, which was in my Brighton haul. Um, so if you'd like to see a MAC lipstick video, I can do that for you. Um, I then have a Bobbi Brown one here. This is in tawny pink. It's a creamy matte lip colour and it is the nicest colour ever. Then I have three Revlon kind of balm stain stick things. Then I have three more kind of like sticky pencil things. This one is a Maybelline colour drama. Then I have a Kiko gloss and a Rimmel apocalypse. Then I have a second row of lipsticks here. And then in the back, I have a natural collection one, a Calvin Klein, two Elf, a Barry M and an MUA. 
Thank you all so 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 much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me some requests down below, and yeah, bye! <sighs> so awkward Zoe.